Also, again, Bulldozer trying to stop that Volk Squad. Damn! Good shot by via the Sturm. Hello everyone, this is Grayshot17, and you are currently watching a Company Bros 2 replay. This is a 3v3 on the map, White Ball Express. We got two Americans and Soviet versus two Austere and an OKW. On the uh, allied side, we got Vincent Vega, for heaven's sake, and the classic gamer. Uh, let's play time is pretty damn good, except for uh, heaven. Uh, classic gamer's in the middle. Uh, Celery, Ronnie, and the flying Doggo. On the Grand Trapeze. No, it looks like they have a little more playtime as well. But again, playtime doesn't necessarily equate to skill. We'll see how well each player does. C uh, commander wise, for heaven's sake, has gone Armor Company. So we already have ourselves the Assault Engineers, which is now become a meme how much I originally disliked Armor Company. But now I'm slowly growing more and more to like them uh, in their effectiveness. Uh, just don't talk to me about the Wolverine. Anyway, uh, Ronnie has gone with. Ostrupen, because apparently you can count on Ostrupen, or so I've been told and memed by uh, that phrase consistently. But also, Celery is also going with Ostrupen. Different doctrines, so defensive doctrine, and we have ourselves Ostrupen doctrine. That allows for direct strikes, as well as the ability to build those amazing fortifications that can repair or, or hold or anything like that. Americans do have Pathfinders, so they have long range infantry, which could wear down Ostrupen. Uh, if they're given in the proper engagement. No Brit, no win, says chat. We'll see. Although a lot of times that's no Soviet, no win. Um, MG opening fire. Again, looks like a situation where the Americans uh, got a little too cocky. And they tried to push on up. But the MG is providing solid D uh, for his uh, remaining forces. Again, a hard D is very good to make sure that the enemy just can't get close. And uh, you can just keep that solid wall uh around your own troops. That way they are protected. And by God, the Ostrupen are being protected. Rifleman instead are going right toward the Pioneer, which is a good idea. How are the Soviets faring? Well, they're being a sniper of all things. Um, conscripts are attempting to hold back the Volk, but Incendiary's going on and off should burn these troops, forcing them out of cover. Volk squad in cover, still trying to hold back men with Sturms and more Volk trying to go for the fuel. It is under allied control, but that will slowly change to Axis, which will be double Axis fuel early on, which is very good for the Axis. Uh, it allows them to gain light vehicles and or medium armor out, uh, possibly up to 12 minutes. Uh, hell, I've seen it 10, but again, it's one of those situations where it's really, really dependent on the simple fact, sorry, just adjusting this. It's really, really um, down to the uh, fact that it's like, you need to also control it. Now, it looks like they have enough defensive uh, stuff going in place where they, uh, I believe they could. The Americans are really going to have to try something unique in order to break this Axis hold. Uh, while that being, uh, while I say all that, more Ostrupen are being brought to the front. Some need to grab some territory. I'm just saying, Celery. Uh, in mid, we have uh, Ronnie doing a decent job. Mortar, MG, additional Ostrupen. And again, Ostrupen, you need upgrades in order to get them to have an MG42. It's not just Battle Phase 1. You need to get Battle Phase 2 in order for them to have a decent shot versus infantry with bars and upgrades. So we'll see how that fares. Ostrupen is pushing on in against the Pathfinders. Effectively pushes them back. Again, just a wave of troops coming at Pathfinders. Mortar as well as under harm's way because there's nothing to stop the Ostrupen from focusing on them. Now again, Ostrupen don't have the greatest DPS. Uh, but again, in cover, makes them a little bit better. Was that their own mortar? Oh, no, that was the American mortar. Damn, that was a good shot. Unfortunately, don't expect this mortar to be hurt. Ostrupen, again, not the best in terms of uh, killing troops on retreat. Although, armor company looks like it did a pretty damn good job with Lieutenant. Don't know why I got the bazooka. We haven't seen any light armor yet. Um, it's And I don't feel like you have to worry about light armor from the allies for a little while. But goddamn... Did uh, the flying doggo take some heavy casualties on his troops? Conscripts again backing up these guys. Ostrupen filling in the uh, the gaps. I love how he's bringing up the MG to support uh, to try to hold back the enemy. Again, double Ura, but kind of just chilling. I think he should have kept moving and tried to uh, circle or encircle the MG. 
But lastly, all these troops are going to be pinned down. And luckily, it looks like Ronnie's last minute save may have just saved the game. At the very least, saved the game uh, in terms of holding the fuel. Now, we do have some additional support. Double sniper coming on in. Very risky, especially if the enemy is going light armor, which, again, I would suspect a 2-2-2 two, two, two in the near future for some of uh, one of the Axis players. But it looks like with this constant sniper fire, that did turn the tide a little bit. So easy to play Axis. I wouldn't say that. Especially when you're going Ostrupen. It's very easy to lose a lot of men with Ostrupen. Uh, just point that out there. So again, not too shabby. Anyway, uh, with double sniper as well, looks like the allies were able to effectively push them back and finally grab a fuel after six minutes. And again, wow, okay, that mortar, it was like, the, the lieutenant is like, I brush off that mortar. I eat mortars for breakfast. It doesn't do anything to me. But again, we have additional Austrian and stuff coming on in, so we'll see how that fares. Big ol' Austrian blob coming on in. Again, snipers can wear that... Okay, I was like, what happened to Rashlon? Uh, snipers can wear that down, but again, there's a lot of men in there. Oh, good mortar hit. The blob of Ostrupin's being eaten alive uh, by the American infantry. If one flamethrower unit's not going to do it. He lost two Ostrupin squads in that. Oh, God, Celery. Oh, the losses. Although, these men are happy. They're doing a tango on the ground. It's fine. Oh, they threw a grenade on it. No tango for you. Oh, God, he's still dancing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in war, you can still have a good time. That's what I'm seeing right here. German forces on leisure, having a decent time, just, you know, doing what, just doing a little dance. That's all. Just doing a little dance. But, uh, they are reinforcing back here. So, the munition point. Some American forces are pressing against the center. Hopefully grabbing that territory and counteracting the MG with Pathfinders. Have we have bars yet? No, no bars. We do have grenades. Covers being placed. All back enemy uh, counterattacks. We do have Doggo pushing on left. And he did go with lead armored. So maybe a Sturm Tiger in the near future. MG being flanked as well. So good flank. Double sniper could be in harm's way. But again, they're wearing down the infantry, which is a solid effort. One shot, two shot. Excellent shots across the board. American infantry now trying to push on up with smoke. Again, don't know what they're going to do against double MG. So much Ostrupin. My God, look at all the Ostrupin. Grenade is thrown though. Uh, whoops. Oh, luckily Celery and Do uh, Doggo. Ronnie, get out of there in the nick of time. MG's opening fire, pushing back the American infantry to the best of its ability. And yeah, there is a heavy machine gun here that, again, will very quickly suppress a lot of their forces. So, excellent job right there. Enemies are swarming one of our emplacements. So... Right now, we have our... By the way, let me know what you guys think of audio. Like, can you hear the game music? Let me... Again, I'm just curious. Um, I... Ever since I got this computer, it's been a little... I'm trying to fix the audio. So, any recommendations would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, Rashlon opening fire against the goddamn blob. Holy God. Celery has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ostrupin to try to stay alive. And... Well, there's a half-track running away from AT fire and bazooka fire. Uh, this thing is... Barely clinging, but it's doing enough to suppress the massive Ostrupin blob. A fire grenades as well at it. Ostrupin retreating from Ronnie Celery, I would assume, is going to retreat shortly. Though smoke is down. Good grenade. Kills the bulk. Again, Doggo taking heavy casualties. And uh, all of... We are now seeing the running of the Ostrupin. That's right. All this way. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Everyone, let's keep going. Yeah. Uh... It's going to take a while to get all those men back, which should give the allies a little bit of time. Now, smoke's coming down. MG might suppress, but it looks like the smoke is blocking it. Okay, a bit too quiet. Thank you, chat. All right, I, I, just, just, I just adjusted it. Let me know how you guys think. Flamethrower kills the unit. All right, paratrooper squad coming on over. Oh, God. Flamethrower trying its best, but... Oh, nice grenade! Paratrooper's like, nah, I'm done. A lot of good grenades from the allies this game. Uh, Stuart as well coming on in, which is the first light vehicle I think we've seen. Which is very weird. 
Uh, again, we have a tier 2 unlock, but we don't have armor uh, for the building. Uh, the Flying Doggo does not have a Panzer Headquarters. And Celery has gigantic blobs. Absolute massive blobs of us, Ruben. Uh, which, it's funny because he has enough to prop. He definitely has enough resource. Well, except manpower. Which, again, I wonder where it's going. Uh, but he could upgrade about phase 2. Get him a ton of MG42s for effectiveness. But we're just not seeing it. We're absolutely not seeing that. I, I, I just... I don't understand, chat. I don't understand. Nice mortar hit. Uh, but again, mortar is KAI uh, killed by the sniper team. Which, by the way... Has like 21 kills. So they're doing a damn good job. Problem is the massive bluff. If I was this guy, I'd be like, demo. It, again, I know, uh, I, I feel like a, a good old fashioned Skippy demo behind like a force or something would be very important to fight this. Anyway, allied forces do see it because of recon. Again, Classic Gamer has uh, Soviet industry. Maybe he can burn them alive. We have uh, supply trucks coming on out to get additional resources. Uh, but again, the massive blob is heading right. Uh, Stuart could be Fausted here if he's not careful. He has enough. Oh, he's going to be Fausted to death. Is there any MG? There's nothing to protect this man. Run, Stuart! Run from the massive blob! Oh, you have damage engine. We're prepared to be Fausted to death. The wave of Ostrupin is coming, and it cannot be stopped. Oh my god, there's so many men. Uh, Ostrupin Giga Chad. There's just so many. There's so many Ostrupins. American forces, though, are locked down in mid. Uh, again, we have Armor Company on the left. And they moving over most likely up the Soviet out. The Soviet's the one, I will say, that does not have the biggest, like, ground assault force. But he is still doing a decent effort. And again, half-track maybe can knock out that, eight, you know, uh, sorry, 18-gun can maybe knock out the half-track if it had proper infantry support, but as you can see, not really. Uh, luckily, Rushlon's firing some grenades, but dog goes dodging. Ostrupin and the artillery field officer pushing on in. He is dropping smoke to try to stop the MG from suppressing him, but again, uh, there's still infantry in the building, which he should get out. Only one squad should be in there. So I'm not sure what exactly is going on. Massive counterattack by Armor Company. Half Track's having trouble suppressing, which go figure on that one. Uh, where's the Soviet AT? Uh, it's moving up. Probably should have moved up with this push, but luckily Bazooka Team only one though. Uh, it's opening fire. Doggo, uh, you're very lucky. Oh damn, nice AT grenade. I was like, uh, you're very lucky he hasn't fired an AT grenade yet, and sure enough he does. Great shot through the smoke, and Half Track's lost. Doggo losing more and more men. No veterancy for the OKW, but, uh, yeah, Ostrupin trying. Again, not that many Ostrupin. Uh, Ronnie has three. Oh, what am I kidding? Three, six, eight Ostrupin for Celery. Uh, yeah. Well, we've seen it kill stuff. Maybe they can push up and take that territory. Heavy, uh, mortar sh is coming down, assuming from the artillery field officer that called in the barrage. Because I'm not seeing any, like, light artillery or anything else. So, that's my assumption is he called in that from the, that artillery field officer. AT guns being recruited. They're killing the medical. Uh, the American does have enough for a demo if he would like to use it. Just saying. He could always use a demo to blow up the enemy medical. Or set a trap for him. Just, but, you know, that's, that's just me. Support gun opening fire from a distance. I don't think the American will push further. But the Soviet is. Uh, the Soviet is now being hit by Ostrupin. Oh, by the way, one, two, three, four trucks of Soviet supplies going on out. Mass amount AT being thrown, but again, Ostrupin is opening fire on the conscripts, killing them quite quickly. We almost have two squads dead. Luckily, the one very low does survive. Um, yeah, so uh, AT guns going to have to reposition all back that uh, armored vehicle. Again, with the American AT, the Ostrupin won't. No, stupid. Os Wind will probably be very easily pushed back. By the way, chat, let me know about audio levels. Hopefully it's better. Anyway, uh, we have American forces over here. Again, watching mid, uh, but they need to take mid because right now they're actually losing. Um, the uh, OKW and Austere forces have gotten a nearly a 250-point lead. All right, chat, audio is good from what you guys can see. Excellent. 
fighting, uh, we have bunkers and MGs guarding the territory. The question right now is, can this, oh my god, you got a Panzer too? Doggo, don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Proceed to get a Panzer II. Why a Panzer II of all things? Like, why? AT is quickly making him realize that is a bad idea. Oswind is in mid, just chilling. Rifleman is uh, trying to take the fuel at the very least. Again, take this, drop some smoke. Just saying. It's not like, it, well, oh no, he doesn't have grenade. Oh, well, yeah, no, this guy does. He can drop smoke from the rush lawn. Push up, just saying. Uh, we have a Wolverine. Oh, god damn it. Remember when I said don't talk about the Wolverine? Yeah, don't talk about the goddamn Wolverine. Although, I do find funny just raining over Volk Squad directly in front of him. Kill it, please. Okay. Man, Panzer II. So much work. So much work, doggo. Conscript's trying to protect the infantry. There's no AT gun to speak of. Medical's going down. Um, Wolverine's just gonna limp back to base. Artillery's coming in on the side, I assume, from the Zis gun? Or maybe he's just moved there to, for coverage in case the armor charges. Ost, uh, Ostwind and Ostroopin are pushing in mid. Uh, the Blob is coming back with a Brumbar. Okay. Oh, he's getting a lot of upgrades. Yeah, he's, he's upgraded all those men. Oh my god. There's gonna be so many MG42s. They're trying to push. Uh, additional AT is needed. Again, uh, Vincent, where? Oh, you're getting a Major now. Okay. Luckily, uh, the AT guns are opening fire, but the artillery field officer did use a more heavy mortar barrage that should kill it. Hopefully. I would say yes, it did kill it. American uh, forces are switching on over. This is like a... Yes, the Americans are winning the infantry battles, but the problem is they're losing the VP war. So if they don't do something soon, they're gonna lose this fight. Brumbar taking hits from the AT gun, but the Austrian blob is... Uh, Attempting now DPS this MG. Uh, actually, both MGs. Uh, but the 50 cals are doing a good job. AT gun might kill this Brumbar. Does kill the Brumbar. What a what a throw by Celery. This, oh my god. Are the Axes about to lose this game because of their blobs? I swear to god. Guys, I swear. All we need to do is blob. That's all we need. Blobbing will win the game. 15 minutes later. I am dying over here. Can you do something else than blobbing? I have three men and a support gun. Uh, but anyway, sniper teams, which still alive, though injured, uh, doing still a damn good job of wearing down the forces in mid. So good job there trying to wear down uh, Ronnie. So uh, Vincent's AT and also Heaven's Sake. I almost want to say Heaven's Feel. Heaven's Sake is doing a decent job uh, holding mid, in term, at least holding the enemy back. They just need to grab it and stop the VP losses. That's one thing I'll say the uh, the Axes are doing well, again, is keeping the VPs under their control. But, again, uh, with the bunkers gone, everything else, I assume that the American and Soviet infantry should be hopefully counterattacking. If not, this game will be over very, very soon. Very soon, this game will be done if, we can't, if they can't figure out how to stop this blob. Well, uh, I feel like, I feel like the Soviets, like, guys, listen, what if we get a tank, but add a flamethrower? That'll deal with the blobs, and, uh, they go after the person with the least amount of troops, but, uh, they're definitely wearing him down. Oh, my God, are they gonna chase him down to it? This is not a good retreat point if you have nothing protecting the retreat point. KV-8 is slowly burning the Austrian, but there is a pack gun to slowly wear it back. Uh, Volk Squad just gonna realize, hey... Maybe we shouldn't be here right now. Maybe we're all gonna die. They're focusing on one troop. This Volk Squad's losing a lot of health very quickly. They might kill it. He's gonna retreat. They're trying to incinerate it, but... Uh, oh my lord! The Blob is back in town. Uh, the American infantry is retreating, but the Blob is trying to intercept. Holy shit! Well, that plane tried to do something, but luckily not many losses. Uh, our... Okay, we lost one American squad, thanks to the blob. But luckily, good old KV-8 might be able to burn him alive. No, he'll literally foust the KV-8 to death.
Holy shit. Where you need a Katusha? Or a bulldozer. Oh! Smoke it! And they use the bulldozer to run it over! Come on! Come on! Alright, for heaven's sake. For ha Wolverine run it over too. Oh, what a dive! The Faust do hurt it. Aw, oh, but oh, it was so close. In the smoke, the bulldozer could easily run it all over. Damn! That would have been epic. Again, uh, just it reiterates, Celery only has so many fouls, so we can only do so much. Is he really going in for the dive? Holy shit. He's dropping smoke! He's trying to do something. I have no idea what he's doing now. Oh, 240. Ah, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, well, uh, KVA trying to burn him alive. If the 240 comes in right on the money, that could kill a lot of it. Again, Bulldozer and Flamethrower killing the blob slowly but surely. The retreat path is uh, very bad. Will it actually KO the blob? Almost hits the pack gun. I think they'll escape the range unless the shot goes far back. Oh, very close, but no dice. The blob does make it out, and the infantry uh, are counterattacking via Dalgo. But again, the armor is still alive. Just point that out there. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh, nice mine. Hit the Soviet mine. And now they retreat back to a medical facility. But again, hopefully the American armor. Wow, I didn't realize this. In the meantime, the Americans took over not just the right VP and stuff. They took over the entirety of the right side. Um, that being said, the Panzer Force was running circles around this. What a waste of 300 ammo. It did cause enough havoc. I, there was a the possibility it could have done more, Chad. Again, he's trying to throw an AT grenade on it. It does cripple the Panzer IV, but I don't think it's worth it. Because, again, he could have died here from MG fire and stuff. So, I don't know. You, you, look, you're not going to kill it with one bazooka. I'm sorry. The last are going to come back. They'll push you back. Vincent Vega just retreat. And maybe get some armor to boot. Maybe maybe get some armor. Anyway, AT gun, S-85. They have enough AT in case the Axis come back. Overall, I think this was a bigger allied win than an Axis win. Sure, it looks like they're about to kill some American infantry. Sure. I did inflict some heavy losses, but a lot of manpower was used to get that force back up. Again, uh, Celery and the Flying Dog and such, uh, and Ronnie did lose a lot of manpower. Overall population is right now, what, like upper 50s? Yeah, I would say upper, may maybe low 60s. I'll say I'll say low 60s, just be safe. And then, but the Allies are in the mid, mid to low 60s, so they're also in the same vein. So, and I think they have the better armor. Plus, again, they have more resources. The classic gamer getting 68 munitions per turn, 48 fuel. He has the Soviet industry under him. Oh, what the fuck? He fired one rocket. You fucked up. You had a perfect barrage and you fire one rocket. Oh, he, that was a misclick. That was an absolute misclick. Oh, goddamn. Classic gamer move, absolutely. Anyway, Mass Faust hit the line, but with the pack, they might be able to do it. Although, oh, Flamethrower is bur- Oh my god, he's just melting the Ostrupen. Nice Warfare hits the infantry, does finally take out the KV. Right, collides right into the church. Ostrupen did take some heavy casualties, he might have killed one or two squads there. American counterattack is real. Paratrooper squads with Thompsons pushing on in. They need AT. Uh, where's the S2D5 or something? I- I don't- see the SW-85. Oh, now it's coming on up. A little bit late because the American Blob was pushed back. Though we do have a 240 coming on in to keep the Axis away. Again, flamethrower unit there, which will burn the infantry out of the building. That's a bad call, for heaven's sake. A very bad call. Get out of the- Get out of the building! Get your men out, you're gonna burn to- Oh, you might actually kill yourself with the 240. Holy shit, are you really gonna burn? Oh my god, it's 25 turn! Fire! Oh! 240 almost came in, killed the Panzer IV. That would be cool. MG's almost injured, hot damn. Good shots. But yeah, uh, that was uh, that was a mis that was a misplay in the building, hundred percent. Well, the Allied advantage is going down the goddamn drain. 
Sni There's still a sniper with 19 kills. There's still something. Katusha comes on in, drives the Ostrovin back. American Infantry needs to take mid because they're currently down so much. Oh! Praetorius Romania is 96. Thank you for nine months. Thank you. Do really appreciate that. Anyway, American Infantry pushing on in. Hopefully we can grab the territory and stop the bleed. We have a bulldozer barely alive. Luckily the AT gun is dead. And actually, armor... Oh my god. Oh, that was so close. Assault engineers almost got the kill on that Volk squad. That would have been good. That would have been a good wipe if they would have grabbed it. American Infantry could grab the AT gun. Uh, let's see. Flying Doggo doesn't know what to get. He tried to get Stuka. He stopped. So I'm assuming... Uh, something is up. Again, uh, what I will say, allies have a ton of resources at their disposal. Again, just to clarify, the average American, or inter yeah, the American player has 36 fuel, 47 munitions. Axis have 16, 37. So they're heavily down. Nice Katusha! Finally a good barrage against the Ostroop and kills a full squad in a good rocket barrage. This building's about to die. Well, at least I know Ronnie's also having a bit of an issue right there. Just a little bit. Let's see. Is the OKW really AFK? OKW's not AFK. He's still moving. OKW's trying. Doggo is trying, guys. He is doing it the best he can. The Chad Ostroopin are carrying the team. Again, Chad Ostroopin have yet to grab the territory right outside their base. So let's not call them Chads too much. All right. The Americans have a and the Soviets have absolutely dropped the ball numerous times. But... This bulldozer has 43 kills, right? Like, they're still getting a number of heavy hits against the enemy. As shown here. Um, what? Okay, I don't know why the 240 was called in there. Unless they're trying to really keep the... Yeah, I don't... I have no idea why. Anyway, massive... Uh, a possible counterattack. And by massive, I mean one Panzer IV fighting a Jackson, which is very bad. I think the OKW's drum. Hey guys, I, I got the ultimate plan. Just, just just come here, just listen. What if I send my Volk squads to charge the enemy uh, again? It, it will work. I swear, I swear it will work this time. I have no AT to fight his bulldozer, and he's most certainly going to kill me. But it will work this time, I swear. We're so close to victory, guys. We're so close. Anyway. Bulldozer, Vet 3 is still eating his infantry. And 240 keeping the infantry away. So, yeah. Sniper is still helping out in uh, uh, guarding the left hand fuel. Oh, good. The blob finally realized the territory is under allied control and is going for it. We have a Werfer coming on in. Uh, again, we have Ronnie with already a Werfer. Let's see. Katusha coming in on the Ostroop and almost killing the squad right there. Ronnie's really close to grabbing the territory. There's not really much to stop him. Bulldozer's trying to do some uh, counterattacks, trying to wear down the enemy positions along the side. Ostrupin fouls, but again, Bulldozer has decent armor, so prevents it. Nice shot on that Ostrupin with the Bulldozer, where he's got most of its health. I love how they have cover positions here for the infantry. Wait, is he building a demo? He built a demo. He just blew himself up. I just want to... He blew himself up with the demo. Just wonderful job with that engineer. Anyway, Doggo said packing. And it's up to Ronnie. And... Oh, wait. American Infantry counterattacking. Werfer. Point blank hits. Oh, my God. The plane protected it. it. Got a lot of the rockets. Though only a couple of units might die here. Which is better than all of them for that Werfer strike. Only one actually died. I, the the plane took the hit in the sky. Very rarely do you see that type type of uh, coverage. Once again, Katusha fire in mid. Again, allies losing a lot of uh, troops, but they're still keeping the lead right now. Again, they brought it down about 120, 130 points. But again, they still need to bring it down like another 150. Mortar carriage opening fire. Keep the infantry back. Conscript's going for mid. Needs more infantry. Although they have a lot of MGs. But again, needs more infantry. Uh, Panzer IV about to be overwhelmed by Jackson fire on the right. And ah, uh, yeah. 
The Jacksons should easily overwhelm this. I'm seeing no tellers, nothing. This Panzer IV has been left to die, which is unfortunate. Oh, building takes one hit, but the other Jackson finishes off. Uh, right hand side's not clear. Rashlan grabs the territory, keeps his men in the game. Right now, Border Carrier trying to help in mid. And uh, left hand side, Bulldozer is still covering. Vet 3 1 still alive. He just got another one. I think a Jackson would be good. Because right now, you got a Sturm Tiger. Uh, you have to fight and. I'm, I hate to break it to you, Bulldozer is not exactly the best counter to it. Just saying. Uh, we have multiple fouls coming on in. Enough to break its engine. Storm Tiger trying to localize their shot. Also, again, Bulldozer is trying to stop that Volk squad. Damn! Good shot by via the Sturm. Kills that uh, Bulldozer. But there are more coming around. Middle is under uh, Axis control. Left hand side is under neither, so no one's hemorrhaging any points. Uh, Rashalon grabbing territory on the right while Jackson uh, did move in. And, oh, well, it died. I guess it tried to dive the Werfer in uh, maybe a Mass Faust attack or no, Pack Gun Fire from Ronnie and maybe some Faust killed it. Good, good jobs. Good job. Anyway, smoke goes down. Again, the artillery field officer can call in the coordinate barrage with all the Werfers fire the designated targets. KV2 is on the field. All right. Now I expect a classic gamer move of a unit uh, that's supposed to be very good to come onto the field and immediately die. Classic gamer move. But actually instead, it's going to hit the AT gun. Bulldozer's very close, but unable... Uh, sorry, Stern Pioneer very close, but Bulldozer stops from grabbing it. Fire on the AT gun! Sturm uh, coming on in after reloading. Another AT gun being made. Doggo slowly rebuilding his army. In mid, Austrian are desperately trying to grab the territory. And on the right, uh, MGs are currently suppressing the blob. The blob is be currently being uh, suppressed and is going to be unable to do much. Actually, if I was him, I'd have the Jackson try to run him over. Oh my god! Vincent Vega uh, realizes that. Tries to go for the run in, but uh, run over, but unfortunately unable to. Conscripts take mid, could use to fire clear in the way. KV2 fighting the Sturm. Sturm fires! Does about, uh, I would say like 40% damage. Bulldozer, uh, 51 kills. Playing crash in the distance, alright. KV2 will black kill your infantry point blank. I would not be there if I were you. Well, there goes one squad. Hope that was worth it. If you kill it, great. Anyway, Axis Air, uh, I'm sorry, Axis. American uh, air support, right? Yeah, P-47s come on in. Question, where's the armor you're trying to hit? The only thing is Oswind. And this is not Battlefield 1. You can't use air support to fight anti-air. I'm just saying. That is, by the way, the dumbest mission in that... Well, one of the dumbest missions in that game. Yes, let's have a plane shoot down enemy uh, air uh, anti-air. Yep, perfect. Nailed it. Oh, my God. Nice war for fire. Hurts a lot of the infantry and sends it packing. Might give the Axis a small window to grab the territory. Again, they're only about 120 some points ahead, so they need to do something quick. Jackson's on standby. Sturm Tiger needs some heals. Luckily, the Sturm Pioneer uh, is coming on in. But Jackson, uh, for Cadmorph is opening fire on the Jackson, sending it packing. MG suppressing the Volk squad. At least Doggo has some veterancy now. Panther on standby. Oswin opening fire on the plane to shoot down the um, recon by the Soviets. KV-2 is back up to full strength. Again, repair stations back here, which is allowing for a quicker repair. Are the Katushas coming in for a massive barrage here? That could be very effective if he's able to hit that. We shall see. Panther and additional forces coming on in to grab the VP in mid. Multiple Warfers coming on in. By the way, Oswin, 34 kills, most of them planes. Oh my god, massive pack line under Katusha fire. And also the base is under Katusha fire. Doggo's just chilling. He's like, I'm fine. The rockets won't hit me. Actually, they're n oh my god, they're they're not. They're hitting like everything around. Where for uh not where for, sorry. Panzer headquarters under fire though. About half dead. Jackson's moving against the Panther, sending it back in. The Panther Grenadiers with Shrek's coming. Oh, they're killing the bunker. Pathfinding might end up uh, killing this 
It does kill the Jackson. Slow retreat causes it to die. Luckily, there's still one Jackson left. Down to, uh, to a 60-point lead. Axis are trying their best to grab mid. Nice Warfare. Engineers are very low. Snipers, where? Oh, Snipers in mid, though. That could definitely help keep back some troops. Engineer squad still trying to grab it, but again, so low, you should just retreat it. Yeah, mobile suppression could be good, Chad. I do agree with the mo hey, a half track. We've seen the Oswin do very well with it. Roddy's sitting in his men, but it's easily being eviscerated by the assault engineers. But, uh, again, for heaven's sake, don't retreat all your men at once! Keep some of them alive. KV2 sends the Panzergrams pack in. Pack line on standby, but again, not really engaging at the moment. Again, we're down to a 50-point lead. Axis need to do something quick, otherwise this game will be against them. Pack line under fire from a KV2 because they just went in the area where they're not looking. Bold strategy. Uh, pack guns open fire, but uh, actually some of the shots bounce, which is hilarious. Uh, for heaven's sake, deploys more bulldozers because why not? Uh, again, Jackson I feel like would be good. I know he has a T chat, but I feel like more uh, one Jackson would be a good idea. Katusha firing, but again needed recon to a better uh, hit targets because there's nothing there. Uh, Elwer, I would say Ostupin are good in 4v4. Again, you just need to make sure you use them properly. I just don't think they're good assault troops. I think they're good support troops. Again, they like this one's vet 3, 6 kills. Uh, 1 kill, 2 kill. They're not getting high kill counts, what I'm saying. 33, yeah. I think they're good. Pack gun open fire on the Jackson, wearing down the AT. Ho Hopefully clearing the way for the Panther to support in mid. Although there's still an American AT gun there. Sniper is still providing support fire against Doggo. KV2 is probably going to kill that Volk. Luckily retreats. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, that's uh, the railway is coming in here. Okay. Luckily it's more confined in that area. So snipers should be fine, but they don't want to send troops this way. Again, S285 coming in to hold back the armor. Lots of forces coming in, but again... The axes are down, and now they need one of the sides. They need mid, and now one of the flanks. And uh, Doggo doesn't look like he's going to be in position for that. Might lose an AT gun here. Sturm about to be able to fire. Maybe he can kill this blob. Come on, Sturm. It's up to you. Right now, Ostrupin trying to push on in the Faust. Stur oh my god. Run, men! Run! We're being chased by a Sturm Tiger! But, uh, yeah, KV-2's nearby, and also AT guns are, at least, you know, can fire on it. But not properly positioned, but whatever. Bulldozers hang the, uh, stir. Other AT gun might be able to do enough if they can keep shooting it. They could kill it. Maybe, again, maybe activate better armor-piercing rounds, but whatever. Brumbar's coming on it. I love how he's putting an AT line. Or he was putting an AT line behind it. I have no idea why Celery's not grabbing the territory. Left side's not being taken. Now he's being suppressed. I, I get like, well, gray shot. There's this. Have the Brumbar shoot it or drop smoke from a mortar you have there. Six points. He needs to grab it now. Ostrupin in mid. Soviet's trying to counterattack. Again, flamethrower unit could burn him alive. Katusha coming in to stop a lot of the pack guns from moving on in. KV2 coming on in. Great shot. S25 focus on the armor. And they might be able to stop it. And you're so close. They sought the bleed with only two points remaining. This Ostrupin's gonna die, but the KV might die from the packs. Oh my god. It's 85 not gonna be hit by the pack guns. Panther is hit, but this thing's about to die. There's so many pack guns. Anyway, two points remaining. Pack line holds and kills the armor, but we have a counterattack. Katusha firing! Wait, is he doing like a... I think he's doing like the retreat action. Oh, this is going to be devastating. All oh, the pack guns are dying. Allies take need to take mid. Holy shit. All three pack guns are destroyed. And left side now being taken. He's repairing his bulldozers. Oh my lord. What the fuck am I looking at? Get in. Oh my god, if he focused on the troops, he could actually do something. 
What is happening? Okay, he's getting in. Thank God he realized he's, he almost realized he fucked up. Oh, uh, chat, we have, uh, with zero. The sector artillery. Sector artillery's coming on in. And KB goes for the dive, but it's not enough. Well, uh, art oh my god, they're trying to grab it. He's trying, but the artillery's still coming in. Sector artillery. Allies losing a lot of their men. Again, a lot of the, uh, again, he can deploy a lot more. He's 1,200. Right hand side, a bunker's going down. Brumbar's guarding it. Middle, uh, Shrek teams are pushing back the armor. KB2's quickly trying to move on in. On the far side, AT forces are dealing with the bulldozers. Because the AT guns are dead. They really don't have no counters. Bulldozers do kill the Sturm. Doggo has no men left. Literally no men. So he can't grab the territory. I hate this game so much. I, I agree. There's no men left. Ostrupen are... Uh, like a quarter of the original size, whatever. They're still guarding mid with uh, a few men. They, I mean, they could take the right here with the big armored swing. Engineers, there's no way. Again, defensively, they will work. Except for Katusha Fire. That might kill some men. Oh, damn. Nice shot with KB2. Yeah, rockets are just murdering them. Five points remaining. Again, they need a point now, and I just don't see it right now. One point remaining. And it's a GG. Two points remaining. <laughs> this is a very cursed replay since GP Network. Uh, that, you know, I it, it did my, you know. I For the person who's like, oh, I'm glad I picked allies, GG. Yeah, maybe you should, maybe a little too early on the well played. A little too early on that regard. Oh, uh, but that was good. That was very good. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Uh, so close yet so far from victory. Anyway, great game. Uh, very funny game. All right, uh, yeah, Doggo, you got your ass kicked, but uh, decent damage. Although top kills and damage goes to Ronnie, who submitted this game, and on a trip to the U.S. So hopefully, Ronnie, uh, your trip is going well. Anyway, on the other side, for heaven's sake, top damage, 32,000. Top kills, uh, 230 kills for the Classic Gamer. Did do a Classic Gamer move, though, of, uh, at the very least... He didn't lose the KV-2. However, uh, he did take a number of casualties by letting his men die in mid. So, you know, there's that. I wouldn't say it's regrettable. It is a, it, it is an okay game in terms of tactics, but it's a good game in terms of hilari hilarious moments coming on in. Uh, nine Ostrupen died, only 36 kills. Again, kind of showing you guys that massive blob really wasn't the high kill count he wanted. Ronnie, again, top damage was pack guns. Um... The Flying Doggo, again, Rakan Warfers, but you did lose a number of them. I love the Yagpons are coming in to kill all those guys. That's that's perfect. Uh, let's see. You should have reported these players for cringe. Uh, Vincent Vega, T Guns did okay. Again, it was fine. Um, I Again, the guy with the uh, Bulldozers did actually pretty well. 111 kills with them. Pretty solid. Just needed more infantry and AT, in my opinion. Kadushas did pretty solid, 67 kills, and the KV-2 also did pretty well. I just don't think you should have sacrificed the KV-8 so much. But overall, decent game. Uh, some be uh, some good highlights out of there. I enjoyed it. Hopefully, chat, you did too. Again, thank you, Ronnie, and thank you, everyone, for supporting my channel and watching this game. Uh, this has been GrayShot17, and I'll see all you guys next time. Hello, everyone. Before you all go, let's give a special shout-out to Patreon supporters, Afaria, Joey G240, Little Chauj, Malam, Tony B, Pyro Shark, Some Tool, and Epic Pleb. Thank you all for your incredible support and helping me grow my channel and allowing me to keep doing what I do. So thank you. This has been Grayshot, his amazing patrons, and I'll see you all next time.